Good morning and welcome to the first Well Chat. I hope you're having a blessed day. My name is Sarah Austin. And I'm Dr. Lisa Rigsby. We're both physical therapists with one passion in mind, whole body wellness. And our mission at The Well is to empower you, empowering wellness for everyone. So The Well has a challenge for you. Hey, have you seen some of those social media posts that have talked about holding your plank for two minutes and 22 seconds in honor of our veterans? Yeah, that's a pretty cool deal, right? Yeah. You know, you think about the plank hold. Why is the plank so, so important right now? Why are we seeing that on social media? It's foundational. Guys, the plank is foundational to movement. It's gonna increase mobility. It's gonna increase strength. We want that. It's gonna decrease pain. We want that even more. Most people that are coming to physical therapists have pain of some sort of nature. So we wanna decrease that pain and that plank is gonna help do that. On top of all that, it's injury prevention. We're gonna set our athletes and our adults up for no more injuries by a simple plank hold. So we're pretty passionate about this. So what we're gonna do this week, is we're gonna give you the whole week to learn with us and to send your videos into our email so that we can see your best plank hold. On top of all that, we have a gift for you. So the winner will have a $50 gift card or they can do a $50 credit to our summer program. So that should be pretty cool enticement for you to get out there and get moving. And the whole reason why we're doing this, why? Is because we wanna empower you. So let's talk about the plank position. So with the plank position, we come up off our knees. We wanna make sure that the head is plugged into an invisible outlet. In front of us, the chin is tucked. The elbows are right underneath the shoulder. The shoulder and the hips are aligned, okay? We wanna make sure we draw the belly in, tighten the gluteals, and tighten your quads. We wanna make sure not to bring the hips up too high. Your high knee should not be in the air. And we don't wanna dip those hips down towards the mat. We wanna stay right in alignment. Head stays plugged in, the chin is tucked, and that is how you do a plank. So hey guys, stay tuned this week because we're gonna come to you with three or four new well chats about what do I do with my neck? What do I do with my back? What are my shoulders doing in my legs? We're gonna be looking for your videos, all right? So send us your videos at wellpoint510 at gmail.com. That's W-E-L-L-P-O-I-N-T 510 at gmail.com. We'll chat soon.